This is called Standing in the Shadows, part one and two. Time pass. Nearly three decades since, I sat with my dad every Saturday morning and listened to his hero and mentor. In the peace of a trini summer, broken only by the parakeet and keskadee, I heard the crackle of a long time record and these timeless words, I have a dream. Every Saturday morning, I listened to this rich baritone voice proclaiming a vision for a future we would all someday enjoy. I have a dream that one day, that one day came when I heard the words, yes we can, from the mouth of President-elect Barack Obama upon his victorious race for the presidency of the United States of America. He told the story of a centenarian named Ann Nixon Cooper. She was there for the buses in Montgomery, the hoses in Birmingham, a bridge in Selma, and a preacher from Atlanta who told the people that we shall overcome. Yes, we can. We all have someone who has gone before and smoothed the path so we can walk sure. Martin Luther King Jr. paved the way and he made history with that one day. We all stand in the shadow. Someone has come before and made, lit the way for us so our feet feel secure. Time pass, nearly three years when I realized someone else has been first, has carved a path for me, made the way easy. My aunt reminded me of Psalm 91 when she heard a poem I wrote about me and my mom. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. All my life I have been in her shadow, sometimes begrudging the shade, but more often, and now, thankful for the shelter. I was standing in her shadow, waiting for my turn, but I'm watching and learning from my, her life and hoping I can follow. I am standing in her shadow, proud to be right here, following in her footsteps and learning from her years. I am standing in her shadows, preparing for my day, grateful to the Lord above for letting her keep me safe. I am standing in her shadows, thanking her each day for taking all those first steps so I can live another day. We are standing in his shadow. My Almighty covers us. And there, in his shadow, she and I will always be. Thank you. Again, you guys are an amazing audience. Wow, I don't even have to ask for that. That's <laughs> The power of the spoken word is that when it is proclaimed, when it is given power through the Holy Spirit, it is then that it is empowered. I'm a spoken word artist, but I am also a lector. Been a lector since I was about seven, when I first read for First Communion. But in my 20s, and you don't have to guess how old I am now, but that's okay. In my 20s, my parish at the time, St. Pius X in Brantford, provided me with training to become a better lector, hence the guide to lectors. Reading aloud in public has the purpose of informing, persuading, or entertaining the hearers. While proclamation of the word can do all these things as well, its central purpose is to celebrate and refresh the faith of the hearers. Very interesting. So when we testify to the work of God in our lives, are we challenging the weary with our faith-filled conviction to hear the good news that Jesus is alive and living in us? Is the word of God, which I think is Jesus living in us, being proclaimed when we motivate and inspire faith in others? I say yes, yes it is, and yes we are. You, we, you and me, are proclaiming the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit moving in us when we testify to others of the power of God in our lives. When you speak or deliver spoken word as testimony in faith, are you proclaiming the word of God? Valid question, I think. Debatable also, but valid question. Um, where might you speak thusly? Did you like my fancy word? <laughs> I tried, thusly. Where might you speak thusly? Might you deliver spoken word as testimony at a cafe, at a pub, hint, hint? <laughs> How might you? 
When you meet friends for a meal and lift their sagging spirits with your story of joy and redemption, is that testimony a spoken word? Mm. When you are consoling a friend and reminding them of the power of God in your life and perhaps in theirs, are you refreshing their faith? Perhaps. When we pray aloud together with each other, testimony a spoken word? Perhaps. When we testify to the power of the word of God in our lives through our lived experiences, are we celebrating and refreshing the faith of those who hear us? If we are, if we can answer yes to any of these, then we are proclaiming the word of God through spoken word as testimony. <coughs> I'm just gonna repeat that because that is the crux of my presentation. If we are, if we can answer yes to any of these, then we are proclaiming the word of God through spoken word as testimony. I'm gonna wrap up my presentation by introducing my last poem. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it because I have enjoyed sharing. The next poem is called Stand and Fight. Now I didn't originally think that this had anything to do with testimony, but again, my ma says to me, you know that poem you do, Stand and Fight? That's in the Bible too. Really? Find me the verse. So she kind of did. Um, Caleb and Joshua. I remember she didn't write down what verse that was, a chapter. But Caleb and Joshua, David against Goliath, and the psalmist tell us to stand and fight. In his letter to the Ephesians, St. Paul tells us to put on the armor of God so we can stand. Stand firm without fear. So this next poem is all about that. You guys ready? Because it's the last one. Get ready. <laughs> Fall in, falling, fallen. I find myself fallen on the ground, and there isn't anyone else around to give me a hand up or even a leg down. I'm stuck, stuck, stuck in the mud. And I want to say, but I say crud. I'm swallowed and sinking in this quagmire, wallowing in this pit of self-pity, the opposite of self-desire. I want to shake it off and rise above, but I'm waiting for someone to give me a shove, shake me out of these doldrums, this depression, but it's got to be me. My hero is self-possession. In one moment of self-deprecation, these words came in appreciation of the fact that I am all I need to be, and I have what I need deep inside of me. So take these words to heart. In fact, take them in your hand to your next battle, your next fight. These words are about taking a stand. Don't get bowled over by the bowels of life. Don't just stand there, stand and fight because there will always be struggle, struggle and strife. But if you want to live, you got to do it right. When things aren't going your way, say what the hell and make it okay. Do what you have to to get what you need. I'm telling you now, I'm planting the seed. You gotta do it yourself if you want it done right. I'm not lying and I'll say it day and night. Honestly, no one else is gonna do for you the things you need to get done. To get what you want or need, you've got to be the one. The one who makes things happen. The one who wants it all. The one who dreams a big dream, takes a leap, and isn't afraid to fall. It's got to be you, who else could it be to live your life so fully and completely, to make mistakes and try new things, to be original, unique, unmistakably free. Don't just stand there letting the winds of time roll over you like you are a dime, a dime on the road on the sidewalk of life, a dime a dozen, nah, you got no price. You're priceless, invaluable, your worth is unmeasured, you're known to your friends as a valuable treasure. You know you're worth more than mortar or bricks, more than dollars or cents, francs or tricks. But when you feel that life's got you beat, get up, stand up, rise up on your feet. When you feel life's given more than you can bear, these words will help. Listen well and you'll hear. Take it in stride, nah nah, stride at the take. And give it back hard, give it the heft and the weight. Cause there will always be another challenge, another match another chance for you to take it all in your hands, your fate, your future, your way in this world, and fight for your life, your rights, and your worth. Stand up, stand up, stand up, 
Don't let the count catch you down. Because it's just in the standing. Standing and being ready. Standing up for one more round that you have won. Stand up. Stand and fight. <laughs>